our dumbbells I'll be right back so stay there stand looking at my hair so the top is getting longer and longer and longer and longer until it just fall flat like that I've been cutting my own hair but not really the top because I don't really know how to cut the top it's been locked down for almost what three months and I just can't wait to go to have an haircut this is ridiculous so I've been cleaning my room slash home studio to be able to get the best out of it and be more productive. Even though there are some parts that don't really look neat yet, but it's a lot better than before. By the way, this is the newest thing in this room. Beside of the this plant, um, this is air purifier. So I bought this air purifier because I'd seen my desk my table, a lot of services in my room getting dusty pretty frequently and I was wondering if there is any tool that can overcome that, that can um, reduce the amount of dust in my room and this is the answer. <coughs> I don't know what happened to my voice there. And it's only almost a week now, I already can feel the difference. Like I can tell I'm breathing more pure air and nowadays I have less runny nose so it's it's a good sign. I also have this transparent box to keep all of the cables or electronic stuff that I don't really need. But I will use it like once in a while. Like for example, this DVD drive. Like it's 2021 and I don't really need to use DVD drive because everything is on the internet now. And also, I got a lot of wired AirPods and like mouse and stuff like that. And it's also better to have this transparent box so you can really see what's inside it. And yeah, it's not really hard to find things when you need it. So that's like one of the tips that I've learned when I'm cleaning my room. There was a lot of boxes that I don't really need like shoe boxes, uh, my PS4 controller boxes and stuff like that, which I don't know. I tend to keep most of the boxes from the stuff that I buy because I feel like I might need that box again to maybe sell my stuff or I don't know why. I don't, I don't even know why like maybe there is like some attachment to it. Like, oh, this is the box from the first PS4 controller that I bought, for example, which is ridiculous, right? So I just ignoring my feeling and throw that stuff away because I know it's not healthy for me and it's, it's just like filling a lot of space in my room that I need. So I've actually changed the layout of my room before. It was just like the other way around. Like I just basically flipped it like this. So everything on the left side would be on the right and everything on the right would be on the left side. The first reason I changed it is because this big desk is what people see the first time when they enter my room. So now it looks a lot bigger and there is more space to walk around and to be used. In fact, it's just a matter of perspective. And also I can barely open the door of my closet before like now it's just enough it just fits perfectly and the big change would be replacing this bed so i bought a sofa bed to replacing this bed it was actually already here before i moved in it's my housemate so i'm gonna replace it with a sofa bed so i could fold it into a sofa on a day and not just feeling like sleeping every time i enter my room so it'll come in two days so i can't wait to see how my room will look like with a new sofa bed. 
So the reason I'm sharing all of this to you guys, I just want to encourage you to be more intentional to organize your room. Maybe you feel like you've been very lazy or unproductive. I just want to ask you guys to just look around your room first. Is it clean? Is it nice to look at? Look, what am I doing? I supposed to study. Then if it's not, maybe that's one of the reasons that you don't feel like doing anything or not doing what you guys are supposed to do. It's here. So the plan will be like this. We're gonna be moving the top part into the other room and then we're gonna put the bottom away into the garage because my housemate's planning to throw this stuff away. Okay. All right, the first one was quite heavy, so let's just do this one this way. Whew. That's a lot easier. That's a lot easier. So let's find out how long I'll assemble it. 